assalamu alaikum students students in this video i am going to reveal this physiology of the smell the physiological knowledge of the sense of the smell smell is a sensory modality which is mediated by the chemoreceptors of the olfactory mucosa the smell sensation is poorly developed in the human beings as compared to the other animals nose is the organ which is for the sense of the smell in the superior part of the each nostril there is a membrane called the olfactory mucosa or olfactory membrane in the olfactory membrane there are the olfactory cells these are the receptors cells for the sensation of the smell these are the bipolar cells which are derived from the central nervous system from their mucosal ends 4 to 25 olfactory hairs project into the mucus that coats the inner surface of the each nasal cavity so these are the olfactory cilia here you can see in this diagram these are the olfactory cilia and these are the olfactory cells and this is the olfactory tract from where the electrical signals are sent to the cns in between the olfactory cilia there are the bowman glands which are important for the secretion of the mucus so in the olfactory membrane there are also bowman glands which are present among the olfactory cells they secrete out the mucus the olfactory cilia uh, olfactory cells are excited by the odorants odorants are the smell producing substances how the olfactory cilia are excited the stimulation for the olfactory cells are by the odorants when the odorants diffuses are uh, it they binds to the receptor protein present on the cell membrane and the inner portion of the receptor protein attaches with the g protein which is activated with the binding of the odorants to the receptor protein the activated g protein detach the alpha subunit and activate the adrenal cyclase adrenal cyclase is a receptor protein is a receptor protein present in, uh, in the cell membrane which catalyzes the conversion of the ATP into cyclic AMP. This conversion uh, opens up the sodium ion channels and the sodium ions are poured into the cell and the olfactory neuron is become activated or excited. The physical, phys physical shapes of the odorant molecules determine which olfactory cell will be stimulated. So this is the diagram by which the olfactory cells are stimulated or excited. When the odorant attaches to the odorant receptor present on the cell membrane, the alpha subunit of the G protein detaches and it activates the adrenal cyclase which is present in the cell membrane. And this adrenal cyclase then converts the ATP into cyclic AMP. This conversion then uh, open up stimulate the sodium channels present in the cell membrane and the sodium ions are poured into the cell which uh, stimulate the olfactory cell to become the excited to excite the olfactory cell the odorants should have following characteristics it should be it uh, should be the volatile so that it can be snapped into the nostrils it should be the water soluble so that uh, it can pass through the mucus of the olfactory cells and lipid soluble so that it can penetrate lipid by layer of the olfactory cells to stimulate it once the olfactory cells are excited the electrical signals are sent to the olfactory tract by the olfactory nerve fibers then the olfactory tract enters the brain and divides into medial and lateral olfactory area this is the medial olfactory area and this is the olfactory lateral olfactory area and this represents the olfactory bulb olfactory tract is basically the interior outgrowth of the brain tissue from the base of the brain and the medial olfactory medial olfactory area that is olfactory nucleus and olfactory tubercle parts of the hypothalamus this area affects more primitive responses such as licking the lips and other feeding responses caused by the smell of the food and then the lateral olfactory area this area includes the uh, piriform and uh, piriform cortex and part of the amygdaloid nuclei 
This is the area which cause a person to develop an absolute aversion to foods that have caused nausea and vomiting. So summary for this uh, pathway on the electrical signal to the CNS is that in the pathway of the smell the electric signal, electrical signals are sent to the olfactory tract and then to the CNS. Middle olfactory area which I have told you olfactory, nucleus, olfactory, work and parts of the epithalamus. Uh, this area is uh, responsible for the primitive responses and feeding responses while the lateral olfactory area consists of the piriform, form, cortex and part of amygdaloid. Uh, this area is uh, responsible, this area is uh, which causes a person to uh, develop an absolute aversion to foods that have caused news and vomiting and uh, lateral olfactory area it is also the less old olfactory system provides autonomic control autonomic but partially partially learned control of the food intake and version to the toxic and unhealthy food so this is the summary for the pathway of this smell in this way the physiology of the sense of the smell is ended up thank you very much